Today we're looking at a liquid cooler. It's the Endorphy Navis F360. We've got it inside this case here and it looks pretty nice. Meet the Endorphi Navis F360 ARGB, a high-performance liquid cooler that blends style with efficiency. Equipped with a sleek 360mm radiator and customizable ARGB lighting, it adds a vibrant touch to your system while keeping temperatures in check. The Navis series also offers 240mm and 280mm variations, with or without ARGB lighting. The cooler comes in a simple brown box with black print. The front features a sketch of the product and basic information including a three year warranty. Additional specifications are listed on the back and the bottom of the box. A QR code on the side provides more details, but we did find that the website seemed a little bit slow at times. Inside the box, the cooler is securely packaged in foam and the fans are pre-attached. You'll find a manual and a bag of fittings compatible with AMD's AM4 and 5 sockets, as well as Intel sockets like the 1700, 1200, 1150X, 2066, 2011-3 and 2011, and also should work on the new 1851. The broad compatibility covers most mainstream sockets from the past 12 years, excluding professional sockets like Threadripper. The radiator is a standard sealed unit without any refill holes, featuring tightly stacked fins to enhance airflow. While the tubing looked nice, it did seem a little bit stiff. The CPU block is a cube shaped with ARGB effects around the edge and central logo. The base of the cooler is large enough to cover your CPU without any issues, and the included ARGB fans have a uniquely designed blade design resembling teeth. The Navis F360 comes with extensive cabling. Fortunately, the fans are daisy chained, but you'll still need to connect the fan headers to your motherboard and link the 5V ARGB headers to the CPU block. The ARGB cable on the CPU block is short. If your ARGB header on your motherboard isn't near the CPU socket, you may need an extender. The CPU block also requires connection to a fan header and SATA power cable. You can mount the CPU block in any orientation, but the intended setup has the logo upright with the tubing on the left. This means the cables need to run around the block to reach the motherboard headers. If you're mounting the radiator at the front or top of your PC, the tubing may go over the top of the CPU block, partially obstructing the RGB lighting. Due to the way the fans have been mounted to the cooler, if you position the radiator on top with the tubes towards the front, it exposes the fan cabling, so you may want to readjust the fans, so basically remove them, turn them 180 degrees, and reinstall them. We also encountered issues mounting the CPU block on our Intel motherboards with large heat sinks near the I.O. area. The tubing interfered with these heat sinks when installing the block if you wanted the logo in the upright position. If your motherboard has sizable heat sinks in this area, you may need to mount the block in a different orientation. So down to testing, most of the information you need is on the screen in front of you, but in basics, we use a climate controlled room, which is also soundproof. The temperature in the room is 21 and a half degrees Celsius. Also, all the components we use are exactly the same for every single test, and we're disconnected from the internet to make sure that nothing can interfere with the testing in the background. So down to our first test, we've got the fans set at 50% speed. We're testing this on an Intel 14900K, that's an i9 processor. And as you can see here, the Nevis F360 comes in at 76 degrees, which is about mid-table compared to the others. 
Now in this test we're doing exactly the same thing again but we're checking the maximum temperature instead of the average temperature over 30 minutes and as you can see here it comes in at 90 degrees which is not the best performing but it's nothing too bad. On this next test we're now testing with the fans running at 100% speed and we're checking the average temperature and as you can see here it comes at 71 degrees celsius which is sort of in the middle of the pack. On this next test we're doing the same thing again fans are at 100% speed we're checking the maximum temperature this time and it came in at 86 degrees so more towards the back of the pack to be honest with you where the average temperatures are pretty good it does peak at some of the max temperatures now and again. In this test we're now checking the decibel levels when the fans are running at 50% speed. You can see here it comes in at 36 decibels which is actually performing pretty well so it makes it quite quiet. And again we're checking the audio levels this time with the fans running at 100% speed and this actually performs extremely well this. It comes in joint first place where obviously the lower the number the better it is. And that's possibly due to the limiting the actual speed the fans can actually get up to. The Endorphin Navis F360 ARGB delivers solid performance, efficiently cooling your system while adding visual flair. Despite some installation challenges and a design that feels a little bit dated, it does a job well. If you find it at a good price, it's a worthwhile addition to your build that won't disappoint. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.